Welcome CSE 121 Programming 1 to our first challenge activity. We're going to have two challenges that follow our assignment 4, which was the one we were doing all those test grades and we were using counters and things like that. This will be pretty simple, but I want to make sure that you can do some things on your own. Watching videos and watching what I do may seem easy when you follow through it, but then when you go to do something on your own, sometimes you know you don't know where to start so I want to make sure that you can do some things on your own and you can figure some things out and now these are simple so I'm gonna give you some help here and a lot of hints but I want to make sure that you get in the practice of doing things on your own so we'll try to do it after every couple of exercises where we have new operations where you can do some things on your own now in this challenge here what you're gonna do and it's pretty simple you're gonna output the year when you or someone else turns 95 I came up with this idea because I just signed a new life insurance policy that ends if I turn 95. So I'm assuming I'm not going to turn 95, but who knows. But as far as this goes, you're going to have three input prompts. And I'll just run it right now just so you see what's going on. And you're going to enter your first name or whoever's going to enter their first name. So I'll put in Rich. I'll put in me. And then it's going to say enter the current year, which happens to be 2020. And then it says enter the year you were born. I happen to have been born in 1967 and then it says rich will be 95 in the year 2062 which is in 42 years and that's all you have to have for your print output so it's three inputs one output now you're also going to have three more variables which are calculations so they will have to calculate the age the years left meaning the years from the time from 95 minus your age really is what it's going to be so that's a big hint there and also the future year is going to be those years left added on to the current year so that makes sense so it's simple stuff here although doing it on your own it that's always a little bit different starting typing your own code without watching me so that's what i'm going to have you do also remember we want a line break in here so that this outputs on a line kind of below these three prompts so you're going to have three input prompts and also remember if there's any math involved which there will be you have to make sure you convert those to int which you use the int convert to wrap around the entire input when you do that and then you'll have three variables which will basically be calculations and then for your final output you're going to use a print statement that uses f strings that basically uses variables for the name for the year which is the future year and then also the years left which is going to be this one here so they're going to be in those little curly braces in your output statement so that's challenge one that you're going to do and then i'm going to have another one involving test scores or test averages called challenge two but do this one first and it's going to be a file that's going to be in your account in python anywhere so i'm going to put that file in there so look for that in there when you see it open in assignments